From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Michael Fish. Hey, thanks a lot for being with us tonight. Look at this fuzzy, fuzzy little guy with beady little eyes. Uh, shadow or no shadow, Punxsutawney Phil are here at home. Either way, winter doesn't end until March 20th. Or if you want meteorological winter to end, that's March 1st. It's Wisconsin. Of course, anything can happen when it wants. Nature has its own plan of when we see snow and when we don't. And in this case, eh, not too much going on for the next couple of days. We'll get to that in a bit. What about in New Orleans? What are they dealing with? How would that feel? And seemingly we weren't, weren't that far from that a couple days ago. 66, partly cloudy skies, not much wind, but we all know it's indoors, so they don't even have to worry about the weather, at least the players and fans, unless they're out bar hopping. I'm kind of finding out they don't have too much tailgating down there. 25 is the average high around here. We weren't even close to that. Look at the temperatures in the single digits, teens, that's about it. There is some milder air out to the west, but we're caught in the northwest flow, uh, flow that's just keeping us colder around here. It feels like one below Oshkosh, two below Manitowoc, two in Green Bay. That's with the wind. This is our actual temperature, wide variety here, from 14 in Shawano to 3 in Oshkosh to 9 in Green Bay. It feels like winter. Bundle up if you're heading out tonight. I don't think I have to tell you that. We've been caught in the deep freeze around here for days. Now, satellite and radar, this is a northwest flow. Brings in the cool air out of Canada and these weak little disturbances that ride along the jet stream. Here comes another one for late tonight, uh, bringing us a little bit of light snow and flurry activity. Accumulation minimal. There's the next one way off to the north and west. It looks like the bulk of that snow staying to our south and west. Just a chance around here. But as far as future snowfall, this is the accumulator for overnight. A trace to maybe up to an inch. There's the little lake effect snow machine going. And then there's the next system you see further to the south and west. Uh, seeing a little bit of snow there. Now, these are nuisance snow. If you haven't noticed, as far as shoveling any of this, it's uh, very light, and it's just enough where you're like, oh, boy, I guess I had to kind of move this around. At least for some of us. Now, as far as Sunday, it's going to be blustery out there until this next system rolls on through for Sunday night. Again, maybe just clipping, especially some of our further southern counties. Now, here's a look at precision cast going through the night here. And we're fairly quiet. Again, maybe a little bit of light snow or flurry activity is a trace to up to an inch. Nothing major. Here comes the next one. And look at where the bulk of the snow is. Just maybe clipping our further south counties. And then that kind of moves on out. And we wait for the next one as we go into Tuesday. But as far as right now, it's quiet. As we head through the overnight, a little bit of light snow or a couple of flurries. That's it. A trace to up to an inch or low a whopping two. For your Sunday, 15, partly cloudy at times. Problem is, it's going to be a little bit blustery. Some of the gusts higher than this 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained wind. Sunday night, a little bit of light snow and flurries again. Mainly further south, you live with one degree. And Monday, partly cloudy, keeping it dry, 16. How about the next seven days? What are we looking at around here? There's another chance of snow as we head through Tuesday. Oh my gosh, Cassandra, how is this going to feel on Thursday when we hit 33 degrees? 